Laravel 9 came out on February 8th, 2022. And in this video, we'll describe how to upgrade our applications from Laravel 8 to Laravel 9. If you're upgrading from a previous version, make sure you check out our video on how to upgrade to Laravel 8. You'll have to upgrade through each version at one at a time, and a link is in the comments. Hello developers, and welcome to PHP Developers TV, your home for everything you need to know to be a knowledgeable PHP developer. I'm your host, Scott Keck Warren. A disclaimer, Laravel 9 is brand new, and because it has breaking changes, it has the potential to break our application. So do not install this directly on a production application. We take no responsibility whatsoever for this video breaking anything. As a general piece of advice, it's a good idea to hold off a couple of weeks so bugs can get fixed before upgrading any production instances. But it's okay to install the newest version in the development environment to try out the new features and to help find bugs. It's kind of our duty as developers using open source software. Support policy. The Laravel framework has a long-term support release policy that says that bug fixes are provided for two years and security fixes are provided for three. Laravel 9 is the current long-term support release, so we'll get bug fixes until 2025. This makes it a great choice for new projects that might not be maintained all the time, but we should plan on upgrading to a newer version before 2025. Upgrade instructions. Laravel 9's upgrade path is quite straightforward, and all of the steps can be found on Laravel's website. It's important to read the most current version of the upgrade documentation. It's changed in the time between when we started writing this video and when we published it. Check the changes. Laravel's upgrade page provides things to look out for as we're upgrading. Make sure you read through the changes on the upgrade page to make sure your code isn't going to be affected. There are a lot of little changes to the code, so it's impossible for us to give specific instructions for everything, so make sure you read through it. The biggest change is that as part of the upgrade to 9, PHP 8.0.2 is now the minimally required version, so make sure you're already running a newer version before continuing. I would recommend upgrading to 8.1, as there are some nice new features in 8.1 that can be taken advantage of in Laravel 9. Create a new branch. Anytime we do a major upgrade, we have to assume it's a test, and we might encounter problems that we can't get past. Because of this, we may have to abandon this process. To do that easily, we can create a branch so that we can just delete the branch if something doesn't work out, or if we need to start over. Change composer.json. The next thing we're going to do is open our composer.json and make changes that need to be made to get it to version 9. There are really only two changes in this upgrade. We have to take the Laravel framework to 9.0 and the Nunomondo collision package to 6. And I apologize if that's somebody's name and I've just butchered it. We'll end up with something like the following. Next, we're going to run composer update, so it pulls in those changes. If everything ran successfully, we know that we are ready to go, and we can commit our composer.json and composer.lock to our repository. Then we can run our tests and check all of our critical pages to make sure that nothing broke. Once we feel confident that it's working as we expect, we can then merge the branch back into master. Problems? If you run into problems with this upgrade, we always suggest restarting and trying again. Then check the upgrade notes and make sure nothing changed that you're depending on. If that doesn't work, it might be time to try Laravel Shift, which can automatically upgrade a Laravel 8 application to Laravel 9. Enjoy the upgrade. Hopefully the upgrade has gone smoothly and your application is now up to date with Laravel 9.0. As always, thank you for watching our video. We could not do it without you. Make sure you subscribe, comment, and like as it does help others find us. Do you want to help support the channel? Find us on Patreon. We would love it and we'll include your name in our list of supporters in each video. This is Scott Keck Warren for PHP Developers TV signing off and reminding you to keep coding.